Hi friends, I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to be doing some lasagna style bulb planting, but instead of doing this in a pot, we're going to be doing it back in my raised beds for the purpose of cutting. So when Sarah Raven came out with her book, A Year Full of Flowers, which I absolutely adore, I noticed that she was doing this concept in her gardens. She was basically planting daffodils in rows for the purpose of cutting. And then what she does, is she overplants them with dahlias. And she said she's been doing this for 20 years and it works out perfectly. So I thought this was such a great idea. I definitely wanna give it a try. We're going to do two of my raised beds this year with this bulb lasagna. And if it works out well, we might up that to six in the following years. But for now, let's just get to work. So let's start off our day by digging a really deep trench. Today we're going to be digging a 10 inch trench and then placing the daffodils at the base of this trench. I'm leaving room for two bulbs in between the bulbs and I'm covering the daffodils back up with 10 inches of soil. So what will happen here is that these daffodils will be blooming in March and April and then in late April and all through May their foliage will be able to take in the sun's energy back down into the bulb to replenish the bulb to bloom again the following year. And then just as the foliage is yellowing and dying back completely in late May, it will be the perfect time to overplant this area with pre-sprouted dahlia tubers. And I'm really excited to just have another succession of cut flowers back here in my raised beds. So the daffodils that we're planting today are Frosty Snow, Barrett Browning, and Pink Charm. I was really interested to see how many daffodils I could fit in each of my raised beds. My beds measure four feet wide by eight feet long, and I was able to fit 125 daffodils in each bed. So this year I've added 1,100 new daffodils to the different gardens that I have, all for the purpose of cutting and selling. With one exception, I did plant a lot more daffodil bulbs in the lawn right behind my flower stand to serve as advertising. I really hope that will be a good idea and attract lots of customers. So we got the raised beds planted with the daffodils and I'm really excited to watch these grow bloom and then to have the ability to overplant them with dahlias. And I'm just excited to see how that works out. I love experimenting, learning, trying new things. I think that's really my favorite part about gardening is kind of hearing and seeing what other gardeners are doing and trying it in my own garden and seeing how it works out. So I guess with that being said, if you've ever done lasagna style planting in the landscape or in a raised bed, please let us know how did it work out? What did you overplant the daffodils with? You know, I guess when I think about it, I always overplant my daffodils in the landscape, but I just never thought to kind of go backwards and stick daffodils in the raised beds and then overplant them in the raised beds. But it seems like it'll be a great idea. I'll definitely take you along for the journey. But for now, friends, I want to wish you a wonderful day out there in your gardens, and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.